structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. If I ask you who the most exciting man in mixed martial arts is today, I trust the answer just might be Justin Ray Gaethje. Realized a major championship outside the UFC. He has really taken this promotion by storm since signing with the MMA leader a few years ago. I mean, pace, pressure, aggressiveness, just keenness, a mentality that only allows him to pursue victory. Watching him against Edson Barbosa would stand some of the strikes that he took to get the knockout with him. A sight to behold. Oh. The fight against Michael Johnson in his UFC debut. Michael Johnson was a top five guy in the world, and Justin Gaethje completely melted him with pressure and pace. Just one of the most active guys in the UFC on the roster. More bonuses than UFC fights. Need Unreal. I say more? Justin Unreal. Gaethje back for more tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker! And now to be his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big powerful first man. Now he gets back to range. Clipped him with the right hand there. And they separate. Going orthodox now. Right going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And he's out. Back to the feet now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain power. 
posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes now for Justin Gage. Straight right hand now just misses. Booker gets caught with that punch. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice stick with the right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice stick with the right hand. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Oh, nice advance there by Gaethje. Just relentless in his pursuit of not just perfection, but... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! 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 It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Hooker, and that left hook landed on the button. Gaethje's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice kick with the right hand. Hooker's lower jaw now. Oh, he's hurt! Stu's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. I mean, he's cutting them down the side. Oh, he's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Hooker's shot there is blocked. Working out of that southpaw stance. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. some of these. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Butler's lower jaw is just...
just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Huge elbow there. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that deep diving punch. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant... Oh! That knee might have landed there. Oh! Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! He's nice stick with the right hand. And he switches his stance yet again. Three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch the punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here in this room. He sets them up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot, and he drives his entire body into that hook. Nice straight punch. And then he lands a nice elbow. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Justin the Highlight Genji. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that.